So now we're entering uh, world two. I think there's like eight areas. So residential area. Ooh, this place has seen better days. Looks like there's mutants here. Gotta make my way through here carefully. Signal source is displayed on my monitor. Let's see where it leads. So first thing. So the nice thing is it actually, your objective indicator. So this is also a good thing about having the little uh, thunder breaker is I can just jump over these guys. Well, technically you can just jump over, but they, they like to, they tend to follow you around. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these bees guys are kind of, they're a bunch of assholes. Oh gosh, nope, that's not worth it. I think that's one, one like problem I usually have when I usually play, is I usually have uh, so we can't make our way through here because we need more, we need better weapons. Uh, I usually like to pick up all the pickups, even if I don't need them. So you don't have to shoot these guys either. Well, you can just trap them, because they, they can't jump too high. They can, they can jump. Oh, cool. Uh, I need a map. I need to find the map in here. So what I usually like to do is just let them hang out. Because they can't jump that high. Okay, I think the red is the indicator in which we're supposed to go. Yep. Exclamation point. Hopefully we get a map soon, because maps are important. Especially in this game. Oh. Haha! -ha. You can only shoot in four directions, I can shoot in eight. Cause like before before it was dumb, you had to like you had to do this back and forth. Well, it wasn't dumb, but it was just kind of, oh, I don't know, just listening to that Skip Rogers guy, I'm just kind of like, oh, because he's like, only curved bullets can defeat the bullet machine, and it was weird, like, he, he, he knew nothing, like, looking at it today, it's like, that man knew nothing about games, like, he, he didn't even play all of Double Dragon, <laughs> he did it halfway, <laughs> probably just gave up and he's like the rest is up to you and I even took his I even I even took his wrong directions is the map yeah it's map but yeah I took his wrong directions especially with double dragon there's like a there's a level like you were inside a forest and you jump inside a big tree and getting hit with like glaciers falling like purple glaciers that fall on the wall but he would always tell you to go a certain way, like just keep dropping down, and it would keep dropping your health. Huh, that's weird. Signal from here is gone. Nothing to do except head where the other signal's coming from. So, the the lame thing about this sometimes is you go on a lot of, you, you go on a big wild goose chase, really. Hold on, let's check more maps. So, save points. Yeah, we'll go up top and go to the save point. But yeah, that Skip Rogers guy, he screwed me over in a lot of ca- I don't know if he wanted you to go down because it took your health? Or what? Because I- I don't know what, what was that- what was up with that guy. Yeah. We'll go to the save point. Cause it sucks, like... It does have like, it does actually have some... I don't know, I feel like Metroid... Kind of things going on. And sadly I can't shoot through anything. Cause I'd probably shoot that little weird crab... Parasite creature thing. I have to wait till it drops or shoot it out of the sky. Okay, yeah, we'll go up top. Uh. Haha. 
Actually, like, like this, the, the Thunderbreaker is actually the, I feel is like one of the most important, uh, useful, uh, weapons in the game. Okay, good. Because it does a really good job. Because, like, I, I can, I mean, I can shoot in, well, th six directions with this. But uh, as, as long as I aim my shots differently, it, uh, it makes things better, I feel. But like the, the circuit, uh, yeah, the thunder breaker is kind of my, what's underneath. Actually, I think this gives me a map in here too. Oh, perfect. So I mean, so, sometimes, well, the late, the later parts, or oh, cause um, the wave beam is strong, but just some, there are moments where they just overwhelm you. And like, oh, it's okay to be a coward and go not check every single room. And yeah, those guys are pretty. Those guys are pretty easy. So we, here's our here's our second boss, I think. I gotta remember to do this more, cause that, that's what I, I was uh, messing up the last time. Cause you can actually lock yourself in. And this guy's, he's pretty easy. Actually, I shouldn't say that, I got my ass kicked by Mother Brain last time. Oh, oh never mind. This is not an actual boss. As, as you can see, it's just, hey, you fought this enemy before. Oh no. <laughs> As I said, it's more about just overwhelming you. Maybe? Oh gosh. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> is that the worst thing to have happen to you in games? Just get hit off screen. Do -do 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 -do. Hey guys, you aren't so threatening after all. Do 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 dance up in here. Man, how many are there? <laughs> yeah, there are better weapons equipped for. I mean, this is this is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> it's kind of. I mean, it, it's cool, but like, it it definitely makes this game so much easier to beat. What do we get? Oh yeah, homing missiles. As I said, they're cool. I just, I, I seriously just use a thunderbreaker. Yeah, signal's coming. Signal's gone as well. So as I said, lots of wild goose chases. Oh. I shouldn't have used that. So the nice thing is like, as you can see, the blue energy comes back. You don't have to get power-ups all the time. So again, other stuff that makes things easy. What's up? <laughs> Just spam that. Hold on. Let me look at the map. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. That was not worth it. And I guess that is really cool. I didn't. I had no idea when you do that in water. It actually reacts to it, cause I uh, I don't know. So I'm I'm actually I think it's cool when games do that. They have like that attention to detail, <laughs> like uh, like Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. How it kept getting one shotted by lightning. <laughs> I was too dumb to realize that metal metal is the conductor. There's one right underneath us. Good. Whoop! Aha! That's... Ah! <laughs> Screw that, I was trying to be fancy. <laughs> but like, I, I love games that have that attention to detail. Cause yeah, how I kept getting one-shotted in uh, 
in Legend of Zelda. Then I looked at it and I was like, oh, it actually does that. So this is the next little game changer. So you can actually walk through stuff. But uh, you you have to be careful because it'll it'll occasionally uh, the it'll rise up. Again, you just do simple stuff like that. The only thing I don't like about this sometimes is it does have like it, it carries on over from the next thing. So like, uh, there's been a few. Uh, I think I think in this area or this dungeon, I've actually had that happen. I've, I've been kind of hanging out, and then it'll just be like, nope. Like it'll it'll the the ty the little lava or goo will rise up, and like I'll I'll instantly take a hit as soon as I drop or jump in. Do, 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 do. I actually love the music in this game. I need to go on, it's, I think it's Fangamer, the website, and like grab the soundtrack to this. It's a good soundtrack. I like Smee's a good soundtrack. Whoop. The, the nice thing is it does have like, uh, it is pretty lenient. It's not like super like you can you, you can kind of hang in in it until it's like kind of dark like uh, dark purple. Oh yeah, this guy's this guy's not eh again, not too hard. So this is the actual boss. Crab crab larva. Yeah, and he likes to shoot all these little goo things at you. The good thing is he doesn't turn around. <laughs> so if he's locked onto one position, you can actually troll him and shoot from behind. Actually, let's switch weapons just for fun. That was not the right weapon. Oh. We'll just burn him. Oh. Okay, he's pretty dumb. <laughs> Just burn this guy, because usually I play Pokemon. Oh gosh, that was not good. I actually got hit there. But in Pokemon, rocks are... are they're weak against... or uh, bugs are weak against fire. Actually, technically he's... Actually, look that. Actually, he's... actually, Crab. He looks like a bug. I'm thinking stupid. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is actually his weakness. Well, not anymore. Cause the nice thing about that, uh, the electricity is it does have, uh, it chains. It's like chain lightning. And it's cool, because the more people you have, the more damage it does. So now we have a better laser. Actually, oh, actually, we have a laser shot. So the cool thing about, uh, so now Sophia's got a cool upgrade. Yeah, yeah, same thing, go to other signal. Sometimes I wish he would say something a little bit different in this, uh, in this moment. So now we have this, but you hold this down. Or... Oh, okay, I think I... I forget, I... You, you, you get a charge shot later. I think? Hold on. I'm gonna see, I think, I think on the bottom... ...is where we can test it out. Uh, right there. Okay, you have to equip it. Okay, now. Huh. 
Huh, that's weird. Well, I think we get a pier another piercing shot later. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, now I, now I can shoot through walls. That's so weird. I, I swear <laughs> you get an actual shot that can just shoot through everything. Well, I mean like uh, shoot through those rocks. 